Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a get ready with me and I felt like digging into my Pat McGrath stuff. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm obsessed with all things Pat McGrath, especially her makeup line. And it's been a while since I've sat down and just played with and talked about some Pat products because I feel like she hasn't had a big release lately. If you were interested in picking up anything from Pat McGrath, if the spring sale is going on, absolutely take advantage of that. And if it's not, I believe the Sephora sale is still going on as well. I mean, this video isn't going to be like a sale guide, what to buy and what not to buy, but uh, I will certainly talk about products that I really love and I do think are worth it. Like I said, this is a true get ready with me, so my hair is still a little bit wet from the shower. It's cold today in Maryland. I didn't dress up for you guys. I, I brought up the nice uh, makeup order sweatshirt. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I've already done my eyebrows. Let's prep the skin. So I'm using the Pat McGrath face primer. Some of you might not know, but she does have a face primer. It's called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I mean, personally, I feel like if you're going to put your money towards Pat McGrath, this is not the product that I recommend. I mean, it works. It's not a bad product. It's a good primer, but I don't necessarily know that it does anything for me. And one of the reasons that I purchase Pat McGrath is the packaging. And I just feel like your money doesn't go towards the packaging at all. This thing rips off all the time. It's paper. This is all plastic. It's just not worth it in my opinion. I just have so many other primers that I much prefer. That being said though, my mom swears this makes her makeup last longer. She has more oily skin than I do. I'm more normal to dry, whereas my mom is more oily and she swears up and down that this makes her makeup last longer. I personally cannot agree with that, but hey, I don't know. I, I've noticed this on sale for like 50% off at some point. I don't know about now, but just, just saying. <laughs> Next up we have the foundation. This was a controversial foundation. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I wear the shade Light Medium 9 and contrary to the pro- Okay then, that just got all over my sweatshirt. Why do I always do this? Anyways, contrary to the primer, this has very luxe packaging. It is all glass, baby. You can see it is a liquidy, lighter consistency. And this is part of the reason why it was kind of a controversial foundation because it's so expensive you guys it's like 60 something dollars and i think people were expecting just because of the aesthetic of pat mcgrath and the price that this was gonna make magic happen and it was gonna be really full coverage just because of the type of makeup that pat mcgrath does when in reality this is a light to medium coverage foundation i would say leaning more towards medium and it just gives you a skin like finish it's an everyday foundation it's not really something that i would go to the club in by any means but it's so beautiful for everyday i've always why am i doing this <laughs> i've always been on the side of i really enjoy this foundation again i think it's a great everyday foundation it's so lightweight you don't feel it uh, you can't see any makeup on your skin it will never ever ever look cakey i love it personally but i can see people expecting it to give more than it did but when you realize it's just an everyday kind of foundation a lighter to medium coverage i do think it is worth it now if you would only pay that much money for a foundation to give you wham bam coverage then this isn't the foundation for you but if you're really looking for a true skin like everyday foundation i find this to be incredible it's you can't even feel it on your skin. And I personally find it to be worth the money because of how beautiful and natural it is. You can see it gives that natural skin-like glow. And that's what Pat McGrath was going for. She's known for skin, just like a skin-like finish. And that's exactly what this gave. So you know what? If you can get it for a sale, absolutely do it. It's awesome, in my opinion. Guys, I'm so depressed now. Can you see that? That's not coming out. Not coming out. All right. Let's move on to concealers now if you are at all a fan of my channel You know that this is my all-time favorite concealer. So these are the skin fetish sublime perfection concealers I have them in three shades. That's how much I love them I would say my everyday go-to shade is LM9 just for the under eyes. This is a thicker consistency. It's 
I find it weird that it pairs with the foundation just because the foundation is so lightweight whereas this guy is a little bit more heavy duty and I know some consumers might like that juxtaposition you know lighter coverage foundation full coverage concealer uh, I would have preferred something a little bit more natural I mean this foundation is incredible but I don't really like something super full coverage with a really lightweight foundation personally they do blend beautifully together but that's not typically what I prefer I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose to cover up some extra redness and I think Pat McGrath did that on purpose but that's just for me I don't like that look and that feeling personally I think she needs to come out with a foundation version of these concealers uh, like have this everyday foundation and then one that's like based off of this concealer because if it's as good as this concealer oh my it will be incredible so I'm just gonna do a little bit there but I love the way this concealer wears I love the way it looks it's just it's everything I want in a concealer all-time favorite I have LM 12 is what I use for color spot correction which I don't really have too much that I need to deal with right now you can see it might be a little bit deep for me but that's okay so that's all I'm gonna do for the complexion products let's move under eyes again these are an all-time favorite of mine from Pat McGrath from the makeup market in general it's one of my favorites on the market these are the skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powders I bought mine in two colors. That is how much I love it. I've never come across a powder that is so blurring to the under eyes, so lightweight on the skin. It is my favorite powder to apply to the skin after foundation. I just feel like it instantly blurred my skin. It's like a filter in a powder. I'm gonna use the shade medium now to get all over the skin. Oh, it's like I'm literally applying a filter, you guys, to my skin. Not to talk this powder up, but it will change your life. The only thing is though, I've gone through a few of these because they break so easily. Like I would not bring these with me to travel because they will explode. Um, so these are only safe at home to use. And even then I've heard some of you tell me stories that this like would explode without anything happening. So uh, <laughs> I look past it because the powder on the face is phenomenal, but that's an issue, right? <laughs> that's an issue. So one thing that Pat McGrath does not have in her line are bronzers. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit from the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette in the shade Satin Bronze. I'm just gonna do the bronzer side. I'm not a huge fan of the contour side for that. It's good, but it's like I have to really be in the mood to deal with it because it's a bit deep and pigmented for my skin tone. This bronzer though, so pretty. I'm using a refer number 25 brush by the way. How amazing is this, this giant fluffy brush? Before I get into what I want for my cheeks and my highlight, this was the most important part of the video. I was like, what palette do I want to use today? What palette gets my love? And if you are new to my channel, Pat McGrath palettes are my precious jewels in, <laughs> in my makeup collection. And I have a rather large makeup collection, but my Pat McGrath palettes have their own home. And today, oh. <laughs> My precious jewel. Today, I decided to use the Midnight Sun palette. I haven't used this one in a while and I feel like it deserves some attention. So this is what we're digging into for today. So behold the beauty of this product. I swear it's so heavy. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, oh that's right. I got a new one sent to me because these things kept falling out. I'm a mess this video. Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? That's okay. Um, I might have just put these back in the wrong spot. The two that just fell out. I'm not sure. That's okay. Remind me. Keep this palette flat. So because I don't want these shades to fall out, I'm just gonna put a picture of the palette and show you what shade I'm using because we can't lift her up right now. She's fragile. I'm gonna have to re-glue those down. You think lash glue will work to glue them down? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Maybe not. Uh, okay, hold on, let me brainstorm what we're doing here. We'll do like a neutral golden red kind of look. So we're gonna start off with the tan brown shade and I'm gonna use this as my crease color just to lay it down. That's a 
beautiful transition color and just a great base for the look overall. I'm using a refer number 16 brush, by the way. Okay, so I want the red and gold contrast. I feel like that's gonna be really pretty. So we're gonna go with this reddish burgundy shade at the top. I'm using a Esum S33 and I'm gonna start off by building it up in the outer corner and we're gonna blend this in towards the inner corner going through the crease now today's look by the way is not going to be anything groundbreaking you know when i first started my channel i was really focused on creating these really unique artistic looks because that's what i thought I needed to do in order to be successful on youtube and the more that i've grown my channel i just read your comments i mean that's really not me that's not the kind of makeup i do on the daily and don't get me wrong i love a fun look but I really just like creating simple looks for you guys that look like they take more effort than they do. You know, I like making simple looks that look hard to do. And um, that's done mostly through color combinations and using certain brushes. And I hope that comes through and I hope you guys learn from my tutorials and they aren't too intimidating because I really do try to keep them pretty simple, even if they look intimidating. Okay, so we have that fun red pop. Probably should have put a primer down because the shadows are not agreeing with this concealer, but that's okay. I'm just so lazy. I don't know if any of you guys are like me, but I'm sorry, but eye primers do work better than concealer, but I'm just so lazy. Honestly though, if you're gonna be lazy and not use an eye primer, you should probably use a foundation as an eye primer. That's a lot lighter, but I always just use concealer. I'm gonna take the red now on a smaller brush. This is an Esam B33. Oh, back to sale talk. If you're gonna pick up one thing during the Pat McGrath sale, if you've been lusting over a Pat McGrath palette, it doesn't have to be this one, but just any color story in general, you should get it during the sale because it's just such a bomb deal. I do have a whole rankings video of all of the Pat McGrath palettes. We'll see if I remember to put it in the description box, but uh, that's a really good resource if you're wanting a closer look at all of the palettes. Okay, so I wanted that red and gold kind of mix, so we're going to go into the gold color at the top. This is a Blitz Astral shade. Oh, and this is why we love Pat McGrath, guys. You see how pretty that is? Okay, so go in about halfway, because we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Just use your finger, get the pretty dimension and sparkles that Pat has. And then we're gonna go into the copper shade to blend the red tones of that matte and the gold together. You see how pretty is that? This shade's a little bit more chunky, like in a good way. So be careful with your blending. You probably should do your uh, face makeup after eyes, but yeah, who got time for that? Okay, and then add some more of that red matte shade just to create more of a cohesive blend here between the two different textures. That's very important. When you're putting two different textures, make sure you blend them together. Special thing with Pat McGrath shadows is you can really just throw these shadows all over the lid and then all of a sudden your look is incredible. Okay, last thing, we're gonna take the light shimmery shade at the top. I'm just gonna put that in our corner as our highlight. Right here and right here. I'm gonna press it in. I always say how much I love cool tones. And <laughs> I always end up going for the warm tones. I don't know why that happens, but it's just such a pretty look. Okay, we're gonna stop that there. I'm gonna put her back in her home. Let's do eyeliner now. And if you didn't know, Pat McGrath has a liquid liner and it's a really good liquid liner. I almost thought I didn't have it but I realized I ordered a new one a few months back. And here's the thing with this eyeliner. It's incredible. I love the felt tip. I love the actual product itself, but it does not last long. I find it to dry out pretty quickly. So it's like not a product that I would recommend paying full price for because it won't have the longest lifespan. It just dries out so quickly. But if you can get it on sale, the time that you do have with it is really nice. And I just love how long and thin the pen is and it's so black as well all right i'm gonna do the other eye in silence because it's getting hard if you notice the wings are not even they're not you are correct and that's okay i'm not a perfectionist when it comes to my makeup because i just know you can always take it off at the end of the day i'm a perfectionist about some things in life but my makeup for the day i am not okay so a blush you want a warmer blush i think let me see now 
If you are new to the Pat McGrath scene, we've been begging for a blush from her for forever and we think every new launch is a blush and then it turns out not to be a blush. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use one of her shadows from the Divine Rose 2 palette. This is a peach shade. It makes a beautiful blush. This is a blinged brush, F14. And we're just gonna put that on as blush. And her shadows work fine as blushes. They're actually very nice. A little bit more on the pigmented side than I prefer as an actual blush formula. It would be nice to get an update. She said she was coming out with blushes in a live that I watched and she said they're coming. But that live, I swear, was last year. So. These blushes better be incredible when they do come out. But it's so funny because every time she teases a new launch, we're all like, it's blush, it's blush. <laughs> and it's never blush, it's another lipstick kit. Like, am I the only one that feels that way? Like, what? Stop with the lipstick kits. Give me a... <laughs> Give me blush. You already have a good powder formula. I feel like blush can't be that hard to formulate. Okay, I put blush everywhere. I think I overdid it. Let me just. I know the new trend is to put the blush up here. I just feel like it's not as flattering for me. I like a, a big, because I, I have a square face, so I feel like I need some color up here. Like I like to bring my blush up. I think that's really pretty, but I need some color right here because there's just, there's so much space, you know, because I don't have a cut in face. Anyways, highlight. Mm, okay, I'm stuck between two. Now, this is my favorite highlight from Pat McGrath. This is the Ultra Glow Highlighter from the Divine Rose Collection. It's so unique, and I highly recommend it if you don't have it. But stop it. I'm thinking about the Skin Fetish Highlighter in nude. Yeah, I think we'll use that one because this one is a bit more golden. Now, this is a cream highlighter, and... Not a huge cream highlighter fan, but I just think it'll look better with what we have going on. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna use my fingers to warm up the product. This is how I like to apply cream highlights if I'm forced to do so. Because I feel like using your finger, one, it warms up the product so that it blends in easier. And then you have full control by just patting it in to make sure that it's not going to disrupt what is underneath. So if you're wondering the secret and why it always messes up your products underneath, it's because you're using something that's sweeping it and the product underneath, you have to use your fingers to kind of manipulate it into the skin as opposed to onto the skin. And that's really pretty. Honestly, this is not a bad formula. Again, I prefer powder. I think powder is easier. I think powder is more impactful. But this is, she's still good. Like smacking my face. Now eyelashes. I, <laughs> I swear this is not an ad for Pat McGrath, but she also had, she also has some of the best mascaras on the market. The Fetish Eyes is my favorite, but Dark Star is really nice too. The one caveat to these is they do flake. If you have short, sparse little lashes like myself, these make your lashes multiply, I swear. So I'm gonna finish applying this mascara. I'll show you how it looks. Then I'm gonna put on falsies and we're gonna move down to the lips. Not to be dramatic, but literally no other makeup brand has come out with mascaras that make my lower lashes look like this. And I'm a huge fan of the way lower lashes look just because I never had them before I started using an eyelash serum. Uh, so I like to make mine very long. Anyways, I'm gonna put on some falsies and then we'll be back to talk lips. All right, you guys. As you can see, lashes just pulled the whole look together. It amazes me that you can just slap some Pat McGrath eyeshadows on your eyelid and then your look is incredible. <laughs> Anyways, lip liner. Again, she has the best <laughs> lip liners in the game. Not an exaggeration. Uh, contour is a goatee shade for me. If you're looking for natural everyday lip liners, contour. Supernatural is a little bit lighter than contour and then... I really like buff for a more pinky. Give me a second. I really like contour because it just makes your lips look massive uh, because it's like a natural contouring shade. Uh, when you put colors over top, it just creates a shadow. And then lipstick, I'm gonna use the shade La Beja. So this is the one time I will say, I love Pat McGrath lipsticks. They're amazing, but they're not my favorite uh, as far as what you can get from Luxury, Gucci, Charlotte, Tilbury. Those are kind of my go-tos. Pat isn't up there with them, but they're really nice. So I don't get it twisted. Oh, I forgot to grab a gloss. Let me get a gloss. We'll do this one. This is the shade Alien Angelic. 
So it's like a clear with yellow green gold down there. And then again, her lip glosses are my all time favorite formula. Oh, it has some pink to it. Um, hold on, let me clean this. She has the juiciest formula that's so comfy, but it's also thick enough that it lasts on the lips, but it makes your lips glow like no other gloss. Oh, they have the best and she has the best colors. I mean, as you can see, Pat McGrath is my favorite brand. They have the best of the best in so many different categories. That's where I'm gonna finish this look. This is the look that I am wearing out. No, I'm wearing it around my house. I'm not wearing it out to the public today. <laughs> what am I talking about? But this is the look that I'm wearing today around my house for my mom for my husband and we're gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and getting ready with me. It was fun to just dig into some Pat McGrath because I know I have so many Pat McGrath fans on my channel as well. So hopefully you are able to pull out your Pat items very soon and give them some love as well. I hope this gave you that push. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.